Right here, we have Shohei Otani doing what he does best, dropping bombs. But this time, he did something a little different. He changed his batting stance. And I'm gonna let you see it first, and then after, I'm going to take a deep dive on why he did it, what was the reason. And if you're a young player out there, you can use this to your advantage. So watch until the end so that you can make the right adjustment so you can start hitting bombs like Shohei Otani. So with that being said, let's jump into the content. Bye. Oh my goodness, Shohei Otani, what can't he do? Shohei, showtime all the time. That's a 94 mile an hour no. fastball. Try to sneak it inside. Don't try to sneak a fastball in against Shohei Otani. Sixth career home run against Cleveland. And he responds like you want from your star players. Ridiculous. 106 miles an hour. Look how high that is. He's going to David Fletcher or Mark Trumbo-like swing on a home run. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm former Major League Baseball player Jermaine Curtis, and today we have Shohei Atani changing his batting stand. And some of you missed it, completely missed it, and some of you didn't. And I want to know what you've seen. So comment below right now. Take a second, comment below, and tell me what you've seen. And also hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in a lot of baseball content, because that's what we have here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So. Today, we have Shohei Atani doing his thing, hitting bombs and pimping it. By the way, look at this pimp job right here. Look how swaggy he looks. Look how confident he looks. This year, he is a different person, completely different person. If you watch my latest video that talks about why he's hitting, which if you haven't, I'm going to put the link in the description below, you'll see that he's doing a few things different. But this at bat that I'm talking about today is completely different from the other at bats. And what he did different is he changed his stance just a little bit. The the reason why he did this is because he faced a lefty. So a lefty is a different arm angle, different slot than what you're normally seeing because most pitchers are right-handed. Since he has this lefty, which shout out to Sam Hinches for, you know, making his MLB debut and doing very well. So shout out to him. But since you have this pitcher that's a lefty, he had to make an adjustment and he gave himself a window instead of being normal, like you'll see in this video, which is the day before where he face the right-handed pitcher and if you look at his feet right now you see that he is even so he's even in his batting stance but then if you look at what happened today in this video right now he's slightly open so what he's doing is he's giving himself a window so he can see the ball better and some of you hitters out there need to use this to your advantage sometimes you're just going to have to change a little bit in your your stance so you can have a better chance of seeing the ball when I I would face sidearm pitchers, I would open up a little bit more. So that gave me a window so I can see the ball better. And that's what Shohei Otani did. He opened up a little bit just to give himself a window so he can see the ball better. And then, you know, he hit the mistake, drove it out of the ballpark. So we already know that Otani gives a little window so he can see the baseball a little bit more. It's smart. It's something that I definitely recommend if you're struggling to see the ball, especially during a pitcher. And you can see that after your first at bat or your first pitch to be exact. Your first pitch, you can say, well, I didn't see that ball well. And then you can make a slight adjustment by opening up to give yourself a window. But I also wanted to share this because what happens at the MLB level is that there's a lot of video. And even though Sam Hinches, and I'm sorry for saying his name wrong if I said it wrong, even though this is his first few starts, basically there's a lot of video on him and so they know that they know so they've watched a ton of video and they have scouting reports on what he throws curveball slider change up whatever and the angle in which his fastball is coming at they have all the info about him and 
since they have all that info now they can create a plan to execute against that picture and how they do that well the way to do that is going into the cage and maybe moving the pitching machine over so if he has an angle on his fastball where he's throwing from basically behind Shohei Otani he can open up slightly to give himself the advantage to see the ball so that's one way or they can have a lefty pitcher lefty bp pitcher throw and do the same thing so why am i telling you this i'm telling you this because you may be playing in travel baseball you may be in high school wherever you are you may not have the opportunity to practice before a game you know to prepare and before the game you may not know what pitcher you're facing and what arm slot he is throwing out but if you do, definitely do that before the game, okay? Practice on that. When I would play against sidearm pitchers or three-quarter pitchers, I would prepare before the game, and then when I went to the game, I was ready. I knew what I needed to do. I had a plan, and I went after it. But if you're in those levels, you may not have that. But what you can do is that in the off season, what you could do is actually do that. You can hit off a pitching machine and put it at a slightly angle. You could have a sidearm pitcher throw against you. You can work on these things that you're going to eventually face in the coming season. If you're just working on against a guy just throwing right over the top, you're not helping yourself the best that you can. So you want to work on different arm slots so that you prepare yourself for when you do face that in the game and a lot of guys are saying well i'm not consistent i'm not this you know i'm not hitting for power but you're only working on bp pitchers that probably are just throwing right over the top you're not even working on you know a guy that throws a sinker you're not working on a three-quarter guy a three-quarter arm slot these are different things that you can do to improve yourself and get consistent results because you're going to eventually face it and you need to have a plan versus these pitchers and you need to be ready versus these, these pitchers and if you're not ready then it's going to be tough you're not going to be consistent because you're going to feel uncomfortable because you haven't been facing those type of pitchers so I just wanted to come on here and talk about it. And again, I would love to know your thoughts. So if you're a player out there looking to improve in their performance and you want to make the right adjustments so you could get high level results like Shohei Atani, I want to give you the hitters log playbook right here. This right here made me into the player I am today. And basically what you're going to do is jot down everything and then you're going to use that data to make better decisions. See how Shohei Atani opened up to give himself the advantage well you're going to write your thoughts in here a bat after a bat pitch after pitch and what you're going to be able to do is go back and look at what you were doing when you were doing well and that's how you're going to have the edge versus everyone because you'll be able to make the right adjustments so you could get high level results so if you want this i want to give it to you for free all you have to do is pay shipping and the link will be in the description below i promise you this is the best investment you can make as far as development so go ahead take advantage of this because i only have a limited amount of copy copies left and uh, i definitely want to help you so with that being said link is in the description below and i want to thank you guys again if you enjoyed this hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here and i'll see you in the next video thank you guys